We had a thriller at the Sanford Pentagon in Sioux Falls on Monday night as the University of South Dakota prevails in overtime, 89-81 over Florida Gulf Coast. Greg, and we talked about it afterward, I don't think either one of us would have guessed that final score with the game this with the way that this game started. No, it was. Two teams just so aggressive defensively and difficult to score on it at times. And at times it was an ugly basketball mm -hmm. game. Plain and simple, created some turnovers. Florida Gulf Coast with their share in the first half. USD with their share in the mm -hmm. second half. And we got it into overtime. And I'll tell you what, it was some pretty fun basketball to watch. Let's take a look at the highlights. It was a tale of really three halves. Yeah. The first one went to USD, and this guy was a big reason for it. Casey Kasparov was just unconscious in that opening 20 minutes. Really was carried USD offensively in the first half. And Florida Gulf Coast just hung around, did enough to keep themselves in the game, even though they're down. 13 at halftime, you knew they weren't out of it. So active on both ends of the floor, but Casper Bauer, so good in that early. 19 first half points, five three pointers. DJ Davis, the nifty up and under here. Kyle's built a 13 point halftime lead. It was 35 22 at the break. Casper Bauer doing it inside, outside, didn't matter. He led the team all the way around, led the game all the way around. But in the second half, Florida Gulf Coast comes charging back. They were forcing all kinds of turnovers with that full court pressure. Kyle's having trouble handling it at all. And the Eagles were making most of those extra opportunities. They really were. And as good as Casey Casserol was in the first half, Christian Terrell was so good for Florida Gulf Coast in the second half. You see Eric Robinson finishing against that pressure. But Terrell, big three here. Then he creates a turnover, lays it in right away. Five straight. That's Those are the problems he caused in the second half for USD. He scored 20 of his 22 regulation points in the second half. Overtime, though, Casey Casper and the Kyles got back on the aggressive side of things, and they dictated how this thing played out down the stretch. They really did. They did Jack with a key play there. Florida Gulf Coast kind of had an answer for everything, but down the stretch, you saw Burnett, Robertson, and then this guy. Six straight points for DJ Davis to close things out, including the dunk with 1.8 seconds remaining to give us our final score. 89-81 in overtime. As you look at the final numbers, Greg, ugly would be a fair assessment based on the turnovers. 36 combined, a lot for FGCU in the first half, a ton for USD in the second half. But the Coyotes got the, the big ones down the stretch in overtime to help propel them to this eight-point win. They did. Down the stretch, as you mentioned, I think USD was just a little bit better in the half court defensively and was able to execute a little bit better in the half court offensively and we and they were the benefactors in and turned into an overtime win and 89 81 again the final score in overtime the coyotes their final summit league season tune up here tonight uh they get the win to go to eight and six through non-conference play they do have one nai game coming up in february but for the most part they were getting ready in these first 14 games for the season that really matters the summit league season and obviously with the way the league has turned out to be this season that's going to be quite a grind yeah there are no nights off in the summit league based on their preseason success and you know what it's great to have a game like this florida mm -hmm. gulf coast i guarantee you coach smith and his coaching staff are going to go in and see a lot of areas that they can work on heading into the conference season mm -hmm. exactly what they needed kyle will get things going in summit league play on friday new year's day against iupui at the Dakota Dome. But for now, that's going to do it. The final from Sioux Falls in the Sanford Pentagon, 89-81 South Dakota, an overtime winner over Florida Gulf Coast. For Greg Steeman and Carla Metz, I'm Jay Elson.